Hey, hey! So this is, uh, I think it's episode 10 of the TAGR Persistence Challenge. Um, not sure if I'm getting better or not. I think I'm just connecting better with some lines than others. And I'm actually just forcing myself to think differently and kind of apply this to my life as I go through this. Um, we talked about a bunch of things and uh, on persistence. We talked about this persistence as the ingredient to transmuting an idea into physical form or making it reality. Uh, we talked about the hidden guide um, that puts us through the test and we are supposed to persist in order to get what we're supposed to get. And after that, he starts uh, making comparisons and I, can, I guess I kind of like this one where he starts talking about um, Broadway and um, Broadway I guess back in those days in 1936 when this edition came out or maybe he probably started writing this much earlier than that I have no idea if Broadway was around I'm assuming it was since he's mentioning it but it's funny because he starts talking about the people that go to Broadway and and, and try to make it there or it will be I guess the same similar thing as those that go to Hollywood and try to be actors and stuff like that but he calls Broadway the graveyard of dead hopes and the front porch of opportunity <laughs> then later on in the in this same paragraph the sentence that catches my attention is but Broadway is not easily nor quickly conquered she acknowledges talent recognizes genius pays off in money only after one has refused to quit. But Broadway is not easily nor quickly conquered. She acknowledges talent, recognizes genius, pays off in money, only after one has refused to quit. I don't even know what else should I add. Um, I guess I'll take it with this point because it's, it's um quitting has a very interesting connotation and I think of myself also as not trying to quit on things but when I think about all these things that I have started I know I don't know I think I mentioned in one of the earlier videos how many workout programs I've had but never really some of them I haven't even started or ever even tried others I tried and didn't have um, same thing goes with uh, video games. I've purchased a lot of video games or movies um, on sale and stuff like that because I'm going to watch them, but they're still sitting somewhere um, and I haven't watched them. Or I probably start some of those and never really finish. So there are, there are a lot of things that I pr could probably say I quit. <clears throat> At the same time, there are other things that I haven't necessarily quit. So I can't really identify myself as saying I'm a quitter. I think one of the interesting things about here uh, about this, the, the word quit, is a lot of times we think that if we stop pursuing something we're gonna be called quitters and I guess you have to ask did you really want that thing you started in the first place? Because sometimes we are forcing ourselves to go through something because we don't want to quit. We don't want to be failures because we stop pursuing that whatever that might be and then sometimes it's a matter of maybe you started something because you felt obligated to do it because someone pushed you or pressured you to do it or maybe you thought you would like it but then you realize you didn't <laughs> and maybe you say things like I already put so much time in it or I already put so much money in it I need to finish I need to finish I need to finish it's like well if you finish Let's just say, does it actually get you closer to what you really, really want? This is a valid question, a question I have to ask myself all the time. But then, remember this. In, in this chapter, he's talking about persistence towards a goal that you absolutely desire. This is not a want or a wish. It's, an, it's a level of vibration in which you absolutely want this thing to happen for you because it's a desire that comes from within you it's so strong that you're willing to do every, everything and whatever it takes to get it under 
right reasons in terms of like you don't want to kill somebody to get there. But what I'm saying is he's talking about Broadway, whatever, or the hidden guide again. Um, it's going to put you to the test, but it's only going to recognize you as a, as, a, as a success when you refuse to quit for this thing that you absolutely want in your heart, in your mind and soul. So maybe there are things you stop doing, maybe there are things you have quit or you failed at and never really tried again. You have to ask yourself, did you really want it? Really, really, really want it? Was it actually a desire or was something that you started doing out of I don't know, curiosity, or somebody pushed you to do it, and you really want to. So those technically can't really count. I mean, you cannot stop doing something you didn't really want. So you can focus your ener you focus your energy on something that you really wanted. So, Broadway, the graveyard of dead hopes, the front porch of opportunity. That's my thought for today. Hopefully that helps you. Let me know what you think. Whether in the one-on-one -on -one co coaching community. On face, find me on Facebook, find me on Instagram, or just comment below and let me know. Have a good one, have a good night, have a good day whenever you're watching this.